Deep range stimulation is uh, now a standard treatment for patients with advanced Parkinson's disease. Most patients with Parkinson's will be managed with medications only. And the medication is usually quite effective at first, but over time it becomes harder and harder to manage those symptoms with the medication as the symptoms advance, then deep brain stimulation becomes a real option. Deep brain stimulation is like a, uh, it's, it's like really a pacemaker, but not for the heart, it's a pacemaker that works in the brain. There are patients that are not candidates for surgery uh, in the way that we traditionally do it, being awake for the surgery, and they would prefer to have it done under general anesthesia like you have any other surgical procedure. The Imris room allows us that capability. The new room we have is a state-of-the-art operating room, but on top of it, it is attached to a, another room that has an MRI machine at the click of a button we have that MRI machine moved into the operating room. The point is that it allows the patient to be asleep. We use the imaging to know where the wires uh, have been placed and uh, decide on the spot if we have to make a change or if the surgery is already completed. Now we can do everything in a single operation because the MRI comes to the patient, the patient doesn't go to the MRI. There are not many institutions that have this. It is still a very sophisticated piece of equipment that you will only find in the biggest and best academic medical centers. We think that we have the team, the uh, professional capabilities, now we have the uh, physical space that is dedicated for the treatment of movement disorders in the Mellon Center. We have improved our technologies to make this the place to go to treat Parkinson's disease.